Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to do the problem number four in communication system. We have already done three problems, so if you haven't watched those videos, please go and watch them. This problem states that in double sideband amplitude modulation, the message signal is having a peak amplitude of 4 volt. Frequency of the message signal is 6 kHz and modulates the carrier signal with frequency 10 MHz and peak amplitude of the carrier is 8 volt. So we are given with the peak amplitude of the message signal which is MP. MP is given as 4 volt. The frequency of the message signal is also given which is FM which is equal to 6 kilohertz. Remember that the frequency of the message signal is the bandwidth of the message signal because message signal is a rough, low frequency signal. Okay and modulates the carrier signal with frequency. So the frequency of the carrier signal is also given which is 10 megahertz and peak amplitude of carrier is also given which is denoted by ARAC. So this is 8 volt. Now we need to determine the modulation index. Number one is to determine mu which is equal to MP divided by A. R A C. Where MP is the peak amplitude of the message signal and AC is the peak amplitude of the carrier signal. So this is 4 volt divided by 8 volt which comes out to be 0.5 R. If you want to express in terms of percentage that will be 50%. Fine. Now let's come to the part B, frequency of lower sideband and upper sideband. Now whenever uh, we, we, do, we do double sideband amplitude modulation, as a result we get shifting of the spectra. As a result we get the upper sideband and the lower sideband. So the upper sideband that is FUSB will be equal to FC plus FM. Are FC plus B because P and FM are same. Whatever is the frequency of the message signal, that will also be the bandwidth of the message signal. So FC plus FM both are given. FC is given as 10 megahertz and FM is given as 6 kilohertz. So this is 10 raised to power 6. We are going to solve this thing 10 multiplied by uh, 10 raised to power 6 plus 6 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 and when we solve this we are going to get 10.006 megahertz so this is the frequency of the upper sideband now the frequency of the lower sideband that will be equal to fc minus fm that is 10 megahertz minus 6 kilohertz FC minus B or FC minus FM. Find where B is the bandwidth of the message signal. FM is the frequency of the message signal. Bandwidth of the message signal and frequency of the message signal is same because message signal is a low frequency signal. Now this comes out to be 9.94 megahertz. So this is the frequency of the lower sideband. Okay. So the B part is also done. Now finally we need to find the amplitude of the sideband. Now we know that amplitude of the sideband is going to be equal to MP divided by 2. MP is given as 4 volts, so this will be 4 divided by 2, which will be 2 volt. So this is the amplitude of the sidebands. This is amplitude of sidebands. Amplitude of sideband. Remember that if uh, the message signal has amplitude, for example, 1, then the uh, amplitude of the lower sideband and upper sideband used to be 1 by 2. So the amplitude is equal to half of the amplitude of the message signal. So amplitude of the sideband is 2 volt. So we have solved this problem. Hopefully you understand. If you like my video please subscribe to my channel Technical Explained.